In this video, I'll be using our Sharp EL531 XT calculator to do some calculations involving fractions and also exponents. Uh, so the first question that I have, I want to add one-third plus nine-tenths. Uh, in order to use fractions with my calculator, I use the fraction button, which is the one that looks just like a fraction, A, B over C. So if I wanted to enter a number like one-third, I would enter one fraction button three, and you can now see in the display window a little hook there. That's the fraction line for your calculator. And now I'll just enter plus nine fraction ten, and when I hit equals, the nice thing is that my calculator will give me my answer. It'll do the common denominator for me, add everything up, and give me my answer in simplest terms. Now, the answer that it's given me here, I would interpret this, 1, the little hook, 7 with the little hook, and 30. That is the mixed number, 1 and 7 thirtieths. If we're thinking about turning that into an improper fraction, taking a back look here at the fraction button, you can see right here above it as a second function is d over c. d over c, that's the function I use to turn things into an improper fraction. So by touching second function fraction button, now it gives me my answer as an improper fraction, 37 over 30. Next. Even if you just wanted to know, is my fraction in simplest terms, that's another thing the calculator can do for you. Here, if I were entering in 35 thirtieths, so 35 fraction 30, and if I were to hit equals, the calculator will put this in simplest terms. This is 1 and 1 sixth, or as an improper fraction, second function fraction button, that would be the same thing as 7 sixths. So in simplest terms, 35 over 30 is the same thing as 7 over 6. The next function that I'd like to introduce, the exponent function, lives over here, and it's the function that looks like y to the power of x. The other thing that I'll need to point out is, since it's going to be a question of finding a negative exponent, this button that I have here, the little plus minus button, that's the button that I use to turn something from a positive to a negative. So if I want to enter in 3 to the power of negative 5, I would enter 3 exponent button negative 5, and you can see in the display window, you can see in the display window the little upside down V, that's the little symbol that it uses to show exponent. So this is 3 to the power of negative 5. If I hit equals, it gives me my answer as a decimal. And the nice thing is with this calculator is the fraction button can be used to turn decimals into fractions. So if it's possible for this to be turned into a fraction, then the calculator will try to do so. So touch the fraction button, and it says actually 3 to the negative 5 is 1 over 243. You can also use fractions, not just as fractions themselves, but as exponents. So 27 to the power of 4 thirds, you can do that by entering first 27 to the power of, and then 4 fraction 3. So 27 to the power of 4 thirds, which is the same thing as 81. And there we go. So this is one of the lovely things about our calculator. All that work that you would have had to do in the past by hand for fractions or exponents, you can do that using your Sharp EL531XT.